Welcome to Finance in Excel video number 97. If you want to download this workbook for chapter 10, click on the link directly below the video and scroll all the way down to the Finance Excel class section. Hey, uh, we've been talking about arithmetic mean and geo mean. We want to take some uh, stock values and dividends, estimate our period returns, and then figure out what the uh, two means are, arithmetic and geo mean, and then uh, estimate what a st the stock may be worth in the future. All right, uh, as we've done um, many times in this class and in this chapter, we're going to take our ending value. We need to figure out the percentage change. So the ending value divided by begin minus 1. Well, we just need to take into consideration dividends. So the ending value will be, hey, the stock after one year plus the dividend they pay. That'll be the end value compared to begin value minus 1. That formula, relative cell references, can be copied all the way down. Come down here, you can see uh, the formula works just fine. Now, let's calculate our average. The arithmetic mean, we'll use the average function. And the average function, arithmetic mean, will give us a slightly high number. The geo mean, now, um, what we need for an input for geo mean is 1 plus this, 1 plus this, 1 plus this. Well, we don't have that. We're just going to use the straight numbers. And then this is an array of numbers, and we're going to add 1. When doing array formulas, an operation on this array plus 1 will be added 1 to each one of these. Now, as we saw in the last video, that's an array formula and Excel um, uh, has to, you have to put the array formula into the cell in a special way. So the way we're going to do it is the sum product. Now sum product, this right here, if I highlight this and hit the F9 key, you can see that's the, the answer we're looking for, Control Z. But because this is an array, we can't just enter it into the cell. We're going to put it inside the sum product because the sum product function has an, uh, an argument that actually handles arrays. So even though geo mean, we can see that it calculates to that 109, we have to put it inside of here so that Excel can add it. Now, that's going to give us 1.09, and we won't need to subtract 1 from that. So there's our geo mean. There's our formula. Now we can estimate Conser less conservative and more conservative. Really, so we'll start with this one. We'll say, hey, Here's the ending value in 2008. And we're going all the way till 2015. So I'm going to say, hey, raised to the, I mean, times in parentheses 1 plus our geometric mean. This is the true average compounding rate that we should use. And we have to raise it to a number of periods. Well, I haven't specifically calculated that. So I'm going to say the year 2015 minus 2008. That'll calculate. Uh, to our number of periods. And so there's our expected uh, return based on this past data, right? So we've estimated that's the average. Now let's go ahead and do the same calculation, but use the arithmetic mean. Notice the arithmetic mean is always going to be higher, if unless they're all the same. And we'll raise it to the same 2015 minus 2008. So it's going to give us a slightly larger number. This is going to give us a, a slightly smaller number. All right, uh, that's geomean and arithmetic mean. Um, we'll see you next video.